Hey guys, for this week's uh, journal article review, I um, I reviewed the article Formative Assessment Practices in Successful Middle-Level Classrooms. The question this article posed is how do you tell if students understand the material you're teaching them and you're testing them according to their needs? The article's answer to this was it recommended a strong emphasis on formative assessment or gauging of students learning over time. According to experts, there are four main modes of formative assessment a teacher should use with middle school students. Questioning, feedback, peer assessment, and self-assessment. For the most part, this article delves into the second option, feedback, the most. According to research, feedback contributes to at least 40% of the effect formative assessment has on students. This feedback can either be written in the form of gentle constructive correction or in the form of in-class conversation. Now, the way this research applies specifically to middle school teaching is that in middle school, students might not feel inclined to read the feedback a, a teacher might write on their homework for one reason or another. I know I was one of those students who almost never did look back at the at the corrections and how to fix things. Therefore, the other three models questioning peer assessment and self assessment might be more effective. Many middle school students would appreciate a chance to talk amongst themselves, even if it is for academic purposes and help each other out instead of having someone of higher authority talk at them about what they need to correct. Similarly, many students might find it more helpful to evaluate their own homework and find those areas needing correction for themselves. Then they can feel proud of themselves for being able to do so and make those corrections. So, the lingering questions I had about this article is, how do I give written feedback in such a way that students will be more inclined to actually read it? Is there a way to emphasize the importance of receiving constructive feedback? Because it is a life school. It's not just, acad it is a life, um, like a life skill, not just in terms of academics, but in terms of social, social relationships and the and such. So the application is, I can have my students break off into groups and go over the homework due for that day, helping each other if they had confusion before they turn it in. Also, I can go over some of those questions in class, asking students what they felt the answers were, how they got to those answers, and gently correct them if there were problems or confusion in their thinking process. Um, in my opinion, in-class conversations would be more effective than written feedback because then at least you know that your students will be will will um at least somehow um have to pay attention whereas with written feedback there's a chance they that they might not actually pay attention to that so yeah think about those lingering questions i just posed, I'll repeat them. I said, how can I give written feedback in such a way that students will be more inclined to actually read it? And is there a way to emphasize the importance of receiving corrective feedback? So yeah, just think about those questions and um, I'll see you tonight. <laughs>